Hello, everyone. My name is Sabrina Young with Young's Daughters Funeral Home and Bereavement Center. I'm so excited because I had the lucky pleasure of meeting Miss Linda Schumann, and I got to go out and personally see what a grace trail is. I'm so excited to bring it to the community. Our new partnership, I think, is going to be amazing, and you're going to find a lot of um, really insightful information here in the next few seconds. Um, I'm going to ask a series of questions with Linda. And I hope you guys are able to join in and really uh, get to feel the experience because I'm so excited to be now in partnership with her. So first, Linda, can you go ahead and tell us a little bit more about yourself and why you got started with Grace Trail? Yes, ma'am, I certainly can. Um, I am a co-owner at Green Trees Farm out here in Troy. We've been here for since 1977 and the property has changed quite a bit. Um, so we have horses, we do boarding, my daughter teaches lessons, I used to teach, and the Grace Trail came about through COVID. Um, I was um, studying um, equine assisted therapy with horses, and we were, the organization that I'm part of now um, was doing Zoom calls, that's all anybody could do at that time, and one of the moderator said, what, what's everybody doing? How are you staying active and trying to involve people with the horses? And this one woman said, well, I started the Grace Trail. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what that is. So I wrote down her name and we got off the call and I called her right away. And she was more than willing to explain it to me. And I thought, wow, this we, people really need this. And so I went online and looked up the Grace Trail by Ann Jolis. She's the creator. And she offered a kit. You could buy a kit. And I ordered the kit. And I took it down to um, Office Max and made big laminated signs and started the Grace Trail here on the farm. And so I have three trails. Um, one is a quarter mile. One is a half a mile. And the longest one is 1.1 miles. And it um, probably is the most physical of the three. And it goes back into the woods and up and down some hills. And it's, um, it's, it's really pretty and it's really cool. So that, that's kind of how I got started. Yeah, and that's great. I love the passion that, that came with it. Um, seeing it myself personally, it was... Um, very connected with nature and I love that you offer a different styles of trails so tell me a little bit more about the experience of the trail so we're going to come in through the gate you'll go to the barn and then tell me more like what happens during that grace process like what what does one expect when we do the trail okay um you come in through the gate and you drive back to the barn and I'm usually waiting for the people in the barn and as you come up to the entrance I have a big sign that says, welcome to your grace trail. And then you come into the barn and I have a table with all my little grace trail things. And the first thing that people get to do is select a grace trail stone. And I usually have a basket or a bowl and they're all different shapes, sizes, and of course, stones feel differently to all the people that handle them. And so I usually say, you're welcome to, to touch however many you want and figure out which one is the one that you need to take. Then they also get a Grace Trail journal and a, something to write on. And this is just blank inside and it's for them to take notes as they walk the trail. So then I actually... <laughs> This was my first map, if you can see that. I hand drew them all and I would hand them a map. And now I have um, a woman who teaches art at Belton High School and she's done watercolor maps and they're so much prettier than what mine was. <laughs> so, but I found that people aren't real good at reading maps anymore. You know, the phone's supposed to tell them where they go. So I, I walk them out of the barn and my, the Grace Trail, let me go back. The Grace Trail is five stations and they spell out the word grace. So the first one is gratitude. The second one is release, then accept, 
then challenge, and then embrace. And so as you walk out my on the trails, the G and the R at the, are at the same station for each trail. And the first one is right outside the barn door and there's a bench. All of them have benches or chairs. Um, I have tubs with a lot of uh, encouraging word stones that have either been painted or written on um, and signs other than the sign that asks the question. The, the main sign says, um, what, what are you grateful for? And then you get to have a discussion. There's actually rules for the trail that Ann wrote that are wonderful. And I always read those before I let them start. So they kind of have an idea of what's expected. You know, it's they can talk or they don't have to talk. They can have somebody be the question asker. So anyway, so you go out the door <clears throat> and go to gratitude. And then I have a big covered arena. And the second station is release. And it has chairs and the same tub and a table and the sign that says, what can I release? And then after that, it splits off into the three trails. So it's what can I accept going forward? What is my challenge that will help me? And I'm adding kind of words to the actual questions. And then the final one is what can I embrace as the possibility going forward? And I just felt like this was, especially during COVID, people needed to get out and be in nature and experience the wind blowing on their face and the crunch of the leaves and the swish of the wind blowing through the trees. And it's, it's really an amazing journey, no matter how long your walk is, whether you take the short trail or the long trail. And it's, um, it's really very inspiring. Can you take the trail more than once? Do you find it helpful for people to? Yes. And what's yeah. interesting, Anne does have a book and it's The Grace Trail by Ann Jolis. Oh, yes. That you so gracefully Sabrina shared. has it. I'm on the reading track. Yes, ma'am. It's on my That's desk right good. now. good. Very good. Um, but um, you, the trail, essentially, according to Anne, and I found this to be very true, it meets you where you are, because every time you walk it, and I've had people walk it multiple times that, that say it's a totally different experience because you're in a different place each time you walk it. And the answers to the questions are just different depending on what is happening in your life. Wow. So who comes out to do these walks? Um, who do you find is beneficial to what kind of groups have come out so far? Well, so far, um, when I first got started, I'm a member of Altrusa International, the temple chapter, and I invited all of my Altrusa sisters out, and we had a pretty big group, and I let them grow out, go out in groups of five, and they truly, truly enjoyed it. Lots of different um, lots of different comments about how it impacted them. And then from there, uh, one of the ladies that walked it works for or works with the Bell County Crime Victim Coalition Group, uh, where they're advocates for the families that are have um, been a victim of a crime. Um, and so she got in touch with me and she brought her some of the staff that does that work at the courthouse in Bell County um, to walk during the Crime Victim Coalition month, which is April. So they've done that two years. And, um, you know, it's gotten a little bit bigger each time. And the interesting thing about them is that my, and this kind of goes into my grief walk, um, my in-laws were killed in a head-on collision in 2017. And we had a crime victim advocate that worked with us um, through the whole process until the trial and all of that kind of thing. And um, she was wonderful. And when um, Jill told me they were going to come, she said, and Betsy is going to be there. Well, Betsy was our crime victim advocate. And um, it was so neat to see her because these people that work so closely with the crime victims 
families only see them during this time and then everybody goes on their way. So this was a neat opportunity for them to see me post crime and how you can be resilient and go forward. And so they really enjoyed the opportunity to walk the trail. Wonderful. Do you have any upcoming um, events that are going to be on the books right now? I know. It I do. I do. We're going to have um, a veteran caregiver retreat on February 17th. I'm working with Arts for Vets, which is um, a nonprofit in Temple. And then we're also working with the caregiver department um, at the Veterans Hospital in Temple. And I've done a couple of caregiver events through the VA. And um, I'm actually going to speak at the Parkinson's group in Georgetown the 9th and hopefully be able to do a walk for them. And I'm so excited because we're going to have all of your classes now um, going to be offered through Young's Daughters Bereavement Center. So, guys, I do want to give you her phone number. Um, we definitely want to make sure that you're taking advantage of the Grace Trail and you can get, um, it's not so much a ticket, but um, based on donations, you can go out and walk the trail. Her phone number to do that is going to be 254 624 4919 to reserve a spot. And uh, you can also find them out on Green Trees Farm Facebook, as well as Linda Schumann's Facebook. Um, I'm so excited that you were here, Linda. Thank you so much. And everybody, please share or grab a group and go take this Grace Trail Walk. We're so excited. Thank you so much, Linda, for being here. Thank you so much, Sabrina. It's been a pleasure. Bye, guys. Bye.